Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Just Because. This morning, we are going to mix up a oxalic acid solution that we will use in our fogger here. Fogger came from Lowe's. Um, let me share with you what ingredients we have. Uh, there's actually a couple of different mixtures. Today, we're just going to do the oxalic acid. However, I am going to show you the other ingredient. Here's a bag of oxalic acid. This is 96% ethyl alcohol. It's not rubbing alcohol. Make sure you use the right thing. This is a small bottle of thymol. Today, we're not going to use the thymol. Um, we're going to mix it up. The instructions for mixing it up is 100 milliliters of ethyl alcohol. You do need a warming plate or a hot plate. Pour it in. You do not want to bring this to a boil. You just want to get it warm enough that you can dissolve the oxalic acid and if you are using the thymol, the thymol. With the oxalic acid, you, you do need a, a scale by the way. with the oxalic acid. If you're using oxalic acid by itself, I would recommend using about 25 grams. So you want to measure out roughly 25. If you're going to use it with thymol, then you use 15 grams. This should be enough to treat 30 to 50 colonies. So there's approximately 25. Use gloves, by the way, some kind of protective glove, just to be safe. This is starting to warm up. You can see some bubbles starting to form. You just dump this in and stir it around till it completely dissolves. This doesn't take too terribly long. Um, it's a little bit cold this morning out here. We're doing this in the garage, so it might take a little bit longer. The mixture, once it's completely dissolved, will turn almost crystal clear. I think you could just do this in the kitchen. You could, but the fumes, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, you can, though. I mean, I did, the, the first mixture that I did, I did in the kitchen. And there wasn't a lot of fumes, but I, I would just recommend doing it with a hot plate out in your garage. See, it is starting to dissolve. On a kitchen burner, it does heat up quicker and it did dissolve a lot faster. So you can see that is starting to turn much more clear. Still not quite there. The instructions also recommend filtering it. I'm assuming to keep particulates out of the fogger so that it doesn't clog it. I'm not sure why because when this thing is fully dissolved it is crystal clear. And But we will go ahead and do a small filtering. While we're letting that continue to heat a little bit, we're going to start this fogger up 
is with the fogger it actually recommends that you let it run for about two minutes before you start using it. This had a mixture of oxalic acid and thymol in it from yesterday's test. <laughs> My trigger's working much better today. up a little bit yesterday. All right, I think our mixture over there is probably good. So we will pull that off and we will filter it. Yeah, this is looks just like crystal clear. ahead and filter it into the beaker. Turn our hot plate off. into our tank. Put the lid on it and it should be good to go. extra measures we decided to fog the entire world to get rid of mice. <laughs> As you can see this thing works pretty good. If you have any questions uh, leave some comments down in the, the bottom. If you like the video please like and subscribe. You'll get notifications on any other videos that we do. But there you go for an oxalic acid treatment for your bees.